Hello, it's Maddie F. Baby. We're here today to talk about some Jungle Cup action, and we're gonna be going over one of my favorite all time Pokemon ever Scizor, the metal bug fighting a ninja guy. But yeah, let's go get talking about him. Alright, so as a steel and bug type Pokemon, Scizor is only going to be weak to fire type moves. It will have the two times, well, four times um, weakness to fire, so you gotta watch out for that. But thankfully for this cup, there isn't any fire really around, you know what I'm saying? A couple charge moves here and there. You got, you know, um, hidden power from Porygon, so it doesn't have to watch out too hard for that. Um, you're gonna wanna run Fury Cutter and then X Scissor, X Scissor and Iron Head, but you can also get away with running a Bullet Punch according to PV Poke. But right here, we're gonna look at Go Ranger app. If you haven't downloaded that, make sure you go do that. Just type in Go Ranger in your search for on, on your phone. But anyways, um, let's look at its resistances. It has a lot of resistances. Steel type, still resists a lot. So it resists bug, normal, dragon, psychic, fairy, steel, ice, and then it has immunity tears to to the grass and the poison. So now let's go over to pvpoke.com. Go check out the website if you haven't, it's amazing. Um, but it's gonna rank number five for Jungle Cup overall. Scizor has a really high rating. And as you can see, um, at Fury Cutter has a 62.4% usage rate, but Bullet Seed also has a 37.5. Fury Cutter gains more energy, but Bullet Punch is viable too, but we wanna go with Fury Cutter and get to our fast moves faster so we can spam some stuff. So the charge move usage rate, it's gonna be X Scissor at 49.7, then Iron Head at 38%, and Night Slash over at 12.1%. And I was really liking Night Slash when I first unlocked my second move, because that's what it had on there, because it gets there really fast. But Iron Head just takes like a little bit of extra time, and it's gonna have a lot of great usage, especially now that Wiggly is running free as a fairy, not wanting to face any steel type moves Boy. <laughs> Our top matchups, any of the grass boys don't want to see us. Um, we also got stuff like Wigglytuff, like I just mentioned, Munchlax, um, the bugs like Beedrill and Venomoth because we can resist all their moves. And yeah, so that's going to be who we want to who our main main feed in is gonna come off of. Um, and then top counters, like I said, Porygon has the, the fire hidden power. Vigoroth is gonna smack us up. We only take neutral damage from a lot of its moves. Uh, that counter that counter hurts. Um, and then you got Pachirisu and mine, and you know, electric types just over there doing work on us, and Noctowl as a flyer is gonna do really well against us. Now let's go look at the spam ability of these moves. So with Fury Cutter going into X Scissor, it's gonna take nine fast moves and five seconds. That is really fast. That's like about as fast as you can get, right? The five second marker, so nine Fury Cutters will get you there. If we go over to I, uh, Bullet Punch to X Scissor, it only takes an extra half of a second. So it takes five fast moves and 5.5 seconds. So even though we lose a little bit of the spam ability with Bullet Punch, it's not that bad, and the main reason we'd want Bullet Punch is for just being a straight Wigglytuff counter. It's going to make our battle rating go a pretty decent amount higher against the Wigglytuff, but I still um, recommend Fury Cutter because just getting those fast moves a little bit faster and is better in general against the meta. And so um, getting them um, from Fury Cutter over to Iron Head takes 13 moves in 7 seconds. So it's extra 2 seconds from your X Scissor. It's 4 extra fast moves. And yeah, it doesn't take that long to get to our Iron Head. If we have Bullet Punch going into Iron Head, it's going to take not that much longer. It takes 8.5 seconds as opposed to 7. So it's an extra second and a half. You lose more. Um, using bullet punch getting to iron head than you do getting to x scissors so let's go look at some battles let's go all right so for our first match we're facing against shagness and we have venomoth versus our guy scissor so this is a matchup we like we don't want to send fury cutter at it because that's not going to do much damage at all but she likes not to use a shield and pays the price the iron head does hurt that Venomoth. We don't like Vigoroth, so we're gonna wanna get out of there. Our Vigoroth counter on this line of three was Vigoroth, so we go into a mirror match. Luckily, we have a shield advantage, but she has the energy advantage. So here we go, body slamming away. 
but body slamming like a brick out here and just getting over there. We burn her last shield and we've burned one of our shields and we cannot get to our third body slam, unfortunately. So in comes our lantern. We want to keep our scissor nice and safe from this thing. We don't want no pot or no Vigoroth there, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> All right, so in comes a Venusaur and this is where we want no part of the Venusaur. So we switch in to our scissor. That's gonna be a Frenzy Plant coming. We block it because we're just so low health and we haven't actually tanked a Frenzy Plant in our experience with our Scizor yet. So even though I resisted with an Immunity Tear, I didn't know how well I resisted it. So that's why I did that. But in comes a Poison Fang. As you can see, we, res we resist that with the Immunity Tear. Uh, but, but Frenzy Plant's a different beast though. Even when you have this double resistance, it still is like such a powerful move. So that's why I shielded the first one. And it worked out because now we're able to finish off the Venusaur with our Lantern as it comes back in. Here's a match against Primo. Shout out to you, bro. And we have Lantern versus Venomoth. He's gonna switch in with his Lantern. We stay right where we're at because we don't really have a strong um, Lantern counter on this line of three. And we're able to get to our Wild Charge, obviously, first because we were in first and we farmed more energy. Sorry. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and shield one and then we switch into our Vigoroth thinking, you know, it's gonna take him a little while to get back to another wild charge. We're hoping we can go in and burn some shields or down him. We're able to get him to burn one shield and then we, uh, we're gonna try and down him, right? And so now we have Body Slam ready to roll. We're out of shields, but he's only got one. In comes the Venomoth again. That's not a great matchup for us, especially with, you know, kind of low health right here. So he's gonna send off a Silverwind and it's gonna finish us off. In comes our Scizor again, hoping we can get him down before he switches or burn a shield, but that's not how it works. So we send out an X Scissor. Not sure if he's gonna shield. I wish you I wish I would have sent the iron head there because it's gonna do a little more damage. And yeah, we're gonna go into another X Scissor here, just trying to save energy in case he decides to shield again, and we're able to get to one more X Scissor. So we're able to spam really well with Scissor, but it's unfortunately not gonna be enough for this game. Um, we're gonna be finished off before we're able to, we're gonna, we're gonna not be able to finish off his squad. We have to use our Thunderbolt right here because we do not wanna take another Body Slam, and we know that Vigoroth gets there really fast, and he's got another, charge move ready to roll on the Venomoth. So GG to Primo. Right here against my guy Wave God 5. Um, we have a bad lead but we farm up a teensy bit and switch at the right moment. Wigglytuff is my best option for Noctowl on this line of three. So we bring in the Wigglytuff. He brings in a Venusaur and I get lucky here that I'm able to get to an Ice Beam before he downs us on fast moves. If he would have used a charge move um, that would not have been the case, but we're able to burn one shield and we take off a lot of its health, even though it resists our charm. So that's a pretty good outcome for me, I would say. In comes our scissor and you can see we just tank one frenzy plant and it does still do some pretty decent damage, more than that sludge bomb does. So we're glad that we didn't uh, shield there though because we can save our shields now and that's what we like about scissor, you can resist a lot. Right here, we luck out that he does not shield our iron head, so iron head is going to hurt Noctowl. And this is why I'm contemplating bringing a scissor over a fortress because we can just get to these moves so much faster. And yeah, he's squishier than Fortress, so I still have to go do more testing and see who I really like more. But, you know, I love Scizor. He's like one of my favorite all-time Pokemon. It's so hard, you know, him and the Why Not family, like really, it's what it's tied between. Um, if you want to know why, ask me and I'll, and I'll tell you why. But anyways, now we have about the Why Not family. But anyways, in comes Vigoroth. We still have a shield, thankfully, and we're almost gonna be able to get to another Frenzy Plant, but we down him on fast moves beforehand. And we're thankful for that, because we know he's got another Body Slam coming in our way anytime now. Anyways, here we go against the regional champion, Jim of Banks. We have a good lead, um, and then, you know, we get the switch advantage. So Wigglytuff does not want to see our Scizor, and so we bring in the Venusaur on his Vigoroth, and we're able to get a Frenzy Plant off after he hits us with one Body Slam. And yeah, we're just getting to work. We're just out here burning shields, wondering if I should burn a shield. I do burn a shield too, so I copy him there. And now I'm hoping that I can get to another Frenzy Plant before a Body Slam, but I'm unable to. So I elect the shield here, and yeah, try to force him to either use his last shield or get rid of this Vigoroth, because I need this Vigoroth gone. So now he has a shield advantage, but I got rid of the Vigoroth, and I needed that Vigoroth gone, like I said. And now I'm in a good position, because yeah, we got, we got Scizor and Lantern versus this, but I wanted to save my Scizor 
for the wiggly toe. So that's why I brought in the lantern and right here he likes not to shield the heavy slam and that's a mistake. He said he wanted to see how much it did and, and he was curious and yeah so he likes there to, to not shield and it's going to be good for us because yeah we were able to down that wiggly tough and now we get a, to burn his last shield with the shield bait for the x scissor. And we all know that um, Lantern is going to be able to come in and finish off this Venomoth. We almost have enough energy for a Thunderbolt and we're pretty much full health but he is able to make it really close as you see so yeah maybe maybe I, I shouldn't have spoke like that because it's really close a really lucky win against a great trainer 1 HP go sub to Jimma Banks he'll be in the comments section below if you haven't heard of him go show him some love yeah he, he did really well there yeah he, he, did, he did some work anyways now we have Wigglytuff again onto or scissor onto a wiggly tough again. This is against my guy Dragon Scale. Shout out to you, bro, out there on Twitch. I'm gonna get his Twitch link in the description, so check there for his Twitch link. This is his first set of Jungle Cup battles too, so you know he, he doesn't have uh, much practice here at all. No, this is against Tom. Oops, my bad. Sorry, Tom. I forgot this one was against against you, and and not <laughs> Dragon Scale yet. But anyways, um, he uses both his shields, so he is able to down our scissor with the Wigglytuff um, but that's okay because we have the shield advantage now we um, are worried about play rough we know that he has that and not ice beam this was like the, our second match or something maybe third match in our best of three um, yeah so in comes a septile we're gonna bust out our Vespa Queen who has an X scissor ready to roll that's gonna hurt and we're just you know over there farming a little bit but then in comes a fortress and now we're like dang well, this stinks, but we got enough energy for a power gem eventually. But yeah, not looking too hot for us because that septile has some energy in the back. So he's able to do some downage with that rock tomb. He's going to down us, and we're going to come in, and we're worried that he's going to get to another charge move. And I made the mistake right here. I didn't mean to, th I thought he was down. I thought the fortress was down, is why I pushed Thunderbolt. So. Yeah, I'm, I knew his Sceptile had energy in the back, so I want to try to down him on Fastness. So that was a huge mistake by me. I really thought he was down. Here's the matches against Dragon Scale. We win the lead, Venusaur and Scissors, so now we win the Switch advantage. And yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be nice. It's gonna be that's what you want, right? So yeah, we bring in our Lantern on a Noctowl. I love Lantern as the premier flying type. My, I like him so much as the flying type counter. We can tank those sky attacks so well. Um, yeah, we're just uh, farming up a little extra energy and yeah, that's what, that's what we're doing right now. So now we've been able to break a shield and we almost have enough for another um, well, Thunderbolt. And we're able to just sit there and not have to use any of our shields and yeah, we, we really, uh, you know, we do some work with Lantern and you can see Lantern survives with one HP left. So in comes Wigglytuff. Now we have our Scizor ready to go to work. He has a shield advantage and he's got a prime matchup. So we're able to bust the last shield and then get to our Iron Head before he's able to hit me with the Ice Beam. So Scizor doing work. Then in comes that Venusaur again. So now we're like, yes, let's go. Able to get to another X Scissor. Gonna be able to get to another one. Another one. Yeah, so Scissor just spams and spams and spams, and that's why I like him. Still deciding if I want to run a Fortress or a Scissor in my next tournament. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you like Scissor or if you like Pokemon Go, make sure that you subscribe if you're new. Maybe share with a friend too. And yeah, I just want to say thank you everybody for all the love and the support. Hope that you guys have a really nice day. And just thank you for stopping by. Peace out, Bell Sprout. Bye. Trevor, thank you for sponsoring me and I had a really lovely conversation when we met at the Sylph party. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you.